Hi everyone, as I mentioned in a video last week, we've recently moved house. Welcome to our new flat, this is our bedroom. In between work, I've been stealing an hour here and there to paint the walls of our bedroom and living room white because they were very magnolia before and it was making everything look quite dark. So everything's looking very bright right now, which I'm really happy about. Actually, let me sit down and stop filming in front of the mirror so I can talk to you properly. We're gonna be renovating the flat slowly over time. Um, we're not really sure what colour schemes we're going with yet. Probably white walls with bright furniture. I'm very much into bright colours, you may, you may have noticed, but for the moment I just wanted to make everything feel fresh and giving the rooms a lick of paint has certainly done that. I wanted to film a weekly vlog this week talking to you about what I'm reading, what I'm up to work-wise, but also showing you house stuff because in my 2020 new year's resolutions video i said i wanted to do more arts and crafts this year and asked for suggestions from you as to things i could try ideally things that were kind to my poor arthritic hands and you guys suggested lots of great things which i have added to a list in my notebook but currently all of my arts and crafts side of my brain is being taken up with house, thing, house things. So instead of showing you new craft activities that I'm doing, I thought I would show you some house renovation stuff. So part of this video is gonna be sponsored by Skillshare, who I've been using when thinking about painting and upcycling of furniture. And I'll talk about that more later on. Um, today is Wednesday the 5th of February and this morning I was in town. I had a meeting about some books that I'm currently working on which will be coming out 2021 and subsequent years after that which is very much forward planning and you know how much I love planning um, and it's just given me I don't know I feel very energized by that meeting which is always really lovely and it was great to see Charlie as well who is my agent who you will have met on this channel before it's always great to catch up with him we also saw a dog sofa um, which I won't be buying for the flat but it was very fun to see that out in the wild and we independently both had taken photos of it because the sofa reminded us of our dogs um, so that was quite fun so this afternoon I'm going to take a couple of hours off work and start doing some work on the hallway which I will show you in a second I'll talk to you about some ideas that I have for it um, and the reason that I'm taking a few hours out this afternoon is because I'm working late tonight because I'm doing BBC Five Live which I do once a month and that is from 11 I leave the house at 11 um, until about 2 in the morning so I'm working late tonight I figured I'm allowed to take a couple of hours off to do some painting this afternoon so let me show you the hallway and what I'm thinking of doing with it okay so this is the hallway it's a very narrow space um, but I want to do something with it I don't know when you step inside a place you want to feel immediately like you're at home and this is not screaming home right now obviously we've got lots of boxes here because we've been moving so it's become a little bit of a dumping ground but we've rescued this um, table which I thought would be a good hallway table I can put a bowl on it maybe for keys um, or something I don't know I need to think about it but this is what the corridor currently looks like this is the it's not really showing up in this light but this is the magnolia color that was everywhere um, so I thought what I want to do is paint the hallway a color called tranquil dawn I love paint color names you know, like elephant breath and grandma's sweater they make me laugh a lot but yeah this one is called um tranquil dawn I'll insert a picture so you can see it um and this is a dulux one uh, so it's a light greeny gray so I would like to paint it that color and then potentially paint the table a light gray I'm not sure. I may keep it in its original wood and sand it. I'm going to see what the colour of the wood looks like once I have painted the walls. I've still got some white paint left over from when I was painting the living room. So I think I'll do a base coat of white because it's quite ragged in places. I'm sure I don't really need to do that with the very light mint grey. But I just think it will make that colour sit better as well. So I am going to masking tape all of the um, skirting board to protect it, um, give the walls a wipe down and then give it a base coat of white. I need to find a lampshade for that light and I thought above the table a mirror would look really nice there. The carpet is the same carpet throughout the whole flat and we're keeping it for now but it has been completely eaten by moths so don't look at it too closely. I'm not sure how finished the hallway is going to be by the time this vlog goes up it depends how quickly i can get hold of things like mirrors and lampshades but let's see how far we get 
Um, let's talk books, because with me now is Jane Campbell. If it's as if you haven't got enough books piled on your bedside at this time of year in particular, I always find when I cannot finish anything because it's depressing because it's January. Uh, we're going to talk coming of age books tonight, Jen. Yes, we are. And um, speaking of books being piled up by your bed, we've recently moved house in the past two weeks. I don't know oh. if you can see in the camera, but I'm covered in paint because I've been decorating. I really today. like those dungarees, though. I feel like uh, yeah, I actually wear dungarees a lot, and now this is my calling decorating. I'm like, this is why I own so many pairs of dungarees. Good morning. This is how awake I am today. I was trying to put this on the lens of my camera thinking it was the lens cap. It's not. It's my blusher. Good morning. <laughs> Yesterday, Mr. M and I took the day off work and went to Brighton. We booked this in a while ago because we've had both had lots of work on and then when we haven't been working, we've been moving. So we really wanted to have a day, to take a day where we were doing neither of those things. Um, and we decided to go to the coast because the sea, as you know, is my happy place. And um, Mr. M had been to Brighton since he was really little. And I went a few times last year, um, once or twice with Jean and then to do some book events as well separately for work. And it's a great place and they have lots of amazing furniture shops. We would like to thrift a lot of our furniture when we're um, getting stuff for the flat. As I mentioned before, we're not in a rush to buy things. Um, we wanna take our time. Um, we don't wanna buy things that, um, I, I just, I'm panicky about buying things that aren't going to go together and I don't want to be in any way wasteful. So we are doing it slowly over time, but we wanted to go have a day off and look around and just see the kind of things that we both like and, you know, get ideas and have a chat about it. And that was really, really lovely. So that's what we did yesterday. I love walking around... Um, Spider, which is one of their houseplant shops. Um, you guys know that we have lots of houseplant children. I'll do a cutaway and show you. Um, the furniture that we're using at the moment is, um, there are a couple of bits that we already had, but mostly it's furniture that was left by the people who were renting before. So that's why we're able to replace things slowly over time. There is a, a rental sofa that's been here for forever. There is a dining table, which is, I really love the size of it, but it's been painted and lacquered in a really dark colour. Um, so I'd like to see if I can paint that and save it and do something with it. We bought one thing for the house. We thought it'd be nice to buy something as a token of the day of going around Brighton and looking at things. So we bought this vase here from a shop that I right now can't remember the name of, I'll insert it on the screen here, but it's a vase that was made in West Germany um, and we really like the style of it. I've put some uh, daffodils in it. Anyway, this morning I'm doing editorial work. This afternoon I have a hospital appointment and this evening I'm gonna do more painting. I am so loving listening to the other Bennett sister. Sorry, the glare in these glasses. I'm so loving listening to the other Bennett sister by Janice Hadlow, which is a reimagining of Pride and Prejudice, but from the point of view of Mary. It's narrated by Kristen Atherton and the way that she voices Mrs. Bennett is exactly like Alison Stedman in the 1995 Pride and Prejudice, which is the one and only Pride and Prejudice, in my opinion, when we're talking about adaptations. Um, let me see if I can find you a little clip where she's being Mrs. Bennett so you can see just how brilliant it is. But I'm afraid I can't agree. For so young a girl, she has no bloom at all. Not like Jane and Lizzie. Their bloom is always very much remarked upon. So I'm going to crack on with work and come back to you at the weekend when I'm doing more house stuff. I'm hoping I can finish the hallway in the next few days and show that to you. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare, who I've worked with many, many times before. I'll link all the previous collaborations I've done in the description box because I've made videos talking about how to annotate texts, how to become freelance, how how to cook certain dishes, lots of different things. Um, and they're a great resource if you're wanting to learn, pick up a new skill. Particularly I have found recently, because this is 
what I've been wanting to learn about recently when it comes to crafts and creativity. So Miss M and I have been watching their videos on interior design when we've been thinking about how we want to decorate our new space. The video series called Style Your Space by Emily Henderson has one that we have come back to quite a lot because she um, kind of breaks down the misconceptions and the pitfalls that people fall into when they're considering how to design a space. The temptation is to be like, oh, I love that sofa and I love that lamp. Um, and instead of thinking about the overall feel you want a room to have and kind of going from there, which is why we have not made huge decisions about sofas or the main focal points of rooms yet, because we really want to take our time with it. So I really, really recommend that series of videos. There's a really fun quiz in it too, where you can pick out certain items to help you find or recognize, you already know probably subconsciously what styles you really like, but to recognize why you like certain things and how to look for other things that complement those things. And um, it's just, it's been really, really great. They also have many other different videos on how to um, design a space from beginning to end. And we've been making our way through those videos as well. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of different classes on all different topics. So you can learn new things, you can get creative and you can explore. Because it's online and the classes are there for you to take whenever you like, you can also fit it in with whatever schedule you happen to have. It's an affordable platform to premium membership works out at less than $10 a month with an annual subscription and Skillshare are offering you two months free of their premium membership. So I'll link it at the top of the description box down below. Click on it, go head on over. I will link some classes down below that I have particularly enjoyed, but honestly, you can search through, I think they have over 25,000 classes. So there really is something on there for everyone and it is well worth your time. If Elizabeth had done as she ought and accepted him, now it would be she and not Lady Lucas who was planning a daughter's wedding. We've been cleaning out the attic of our new place and we found some really cool stuff like this diagram image thing of sailing ships through the ages and then we found all of this stuff too oh this is the painting as it's looking right now and then loads of strange glassware which is actually amazing because we haven't bought any glasses yet this was just up in the attic wrapped in old newspaper. What is this newspaper from? 1993. 1993. This really retro table that was just up there, which is very 1970s. We've got Lena and Craig coming around for dinner and board games tonight, so I thought I would make that vegan bolognese that I made in my last weekly vlog. And some of you asked what the recipe for that was and how I made it. Um, I don't follow a particular recipe, so I thought I would just quickly tell you what I do. Um, so you chop up an onion and you fry that. Then you add in this, which I think is really good. It's the Meatless Farm Company um, meat-free mince. It doesn't brown like meat does. It actually sticks to the pan quite a bit. I'm guessing because there's not as much fat in it. So I don't brown it like I would meat. I just put it in and stir it a little bit and then pretty much immediately add four tins of top to chopped tomatoes. We're going to have three, so I'm going to have to make do, but normally I put in four. Then I add two of these, which is the Knorr stock pot. Um, these are the vegetable stock pots. A splash of water, a splash of red wine, salt and pepper, and four bay leaves, um, which I don't have on the counter, but I think hopefully are just in the cupboard. And then I simmer that all together for about an hour, making sure to, t to stir it regularly because it can stick to the bottom of the pan. You want it on a very, very low heat. Then after an hour, add in a punnet of chopped mushrooms and then cook for another hour, adding in more water if you think is necessary. Oh, I forgot to say also, when you add in these, you add in some tomato puree and some garlic puree as well. And after two hours, it should be about done. And if you can make it in advance, preferably even the day before, which I'm not doing today, but I'm trying to do it a few hours before they get here. It tastes better the longer that you leave it, like most stews or curries. Um, and then you serve it with spaghetti. So that is what I'm making today. I 
forgot to bring my camera with me, so I'm just filming on my phone. I'm moving the last bookcase that we need to move. And this is a bookcase that I built myself, which I shouldn't have done because I didn't have a drill and I thought I could tighten the screws myself and I just couldn't. To be fair, it's done its job. Like it's been there probably about six years and it's been supported by the bookcases that were either side of it, but I didn't realize just how much the bookcases, the other bookcases were supporting this until I moved those. And now this is what the bookcase looks like. It looks like this. It is the wonkiest bookcase um, with like, this is, these are the gaps. These gaps should not be here. These screws are not in very tight at all. I'm just wondering, oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm just wondering at what point me taking the books off is gonna make the, the whole thing fall down. Maybe I'll do a time-lapse. Let's see, because I think it's, it is also being supported by the weight of the books. And once those are gone, it's just gonna crumple to the floor. Let's see. Painting is all done, so um, it looks raggedy at the edges because I've still got the masking tape on and once it's all dry I'll take the masking tape off. I know I said I was thinking of painting this table but I actually think I like the colour of it against the paint so I think I might keep it like that. everyone it is Tuesday and the hallway is not finished but it's definitely much much better than it was before let me show you this is what it looks like so the paint as I said is a Dulux one called Tranquil Dawn and I love the way that it looks it's a lovely mint green I decided to put the table at the end of the corridor as I'm filming this so as you see it um, which is not where I'd initially planned to put it but I'd like to get a mirror to go above it and there is a window behind the camera and I think it's always best to have a mirror opposite light. So I haven't found a mirror that I love yet but there's gonna be a mirror that replaces where the coat rack still is, which was there when we moved in. I just think it's really ornate and kind of pretty. Um, maybe right now I could use it to put my hats on when I come inside. Um, I don't know, at the moment it's, it's more decorative than functional right now. So I'm gonna move that at some point and have a mirror there. The table, I probably will sand at some point to make it look a bit more finished than it currently is because, um, as I said, we, we rescued it from um, being thrown out and it's a little bit scuffed, but I, I like that. It looks loved. On top of the table, I've put this vase from H&M Home, which I love. I know that that is not as interesting as thrifting something or finding something that has already been much loved, but I adore this vase and it's got a really interesting texture. It's very heavy as well. Then next to it, I've put a wooden box where we can keep our keys. I've put this bowl, which was a gift from um, my lovely publishers, Two Roads, a few Christmases ago, and I've put inside some of my favorite pins in case I wanna put one on before I leave the house. And then next to that is a candle that we had, which is a darker green um, to give it a slightly different tone. And that is a watermelon candle, and it smells really lovely. So that is how the corridor is currently looking. The kind of mirror that I have in mind is something like this, and then we'll also need to get a lampshade as well, which we don't yet have. Have, and I'm thinking something along the lines of this but I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled and we'll see what kind of things we come across and I'll keep you updated I hope that that was interesting um, it's been fun to do and obviously this is gonna be an ongoing project with the flat and there's gonna be lots of things that we're doing so if you would like to see more content like this then do let me know um, I'm gonna crack on with work um, this afternoon I have a whole <laughs> load of hospital appointments. I feel like I've spent a lot of the time at hospital recently. I'm okay, it's just one of those things. Um, life with a chronic health condition. Um, so that is my afternoon. And then tonight, I think I'll just come home and just admire my hallway some more because I'm a big fan. I hope that you like it too. Um, I hope that you guys are having a great week. Thanks very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Um, I will speak to you guys very soon. Lots of bookish love.